Well, hello everybody, Smith here. Welcome to another episode of our Jurassic Craft 2 series. And uh, I've done a bit more down there on the in-gen reception area. And you can see that from here. But uh, let's go and have a look a bit closer and show you what I've been trying to do and what we've decided to do next. So, uh, right, let's go down there. Yeah, so thank you very much guys and girls for all the comments and all the likes on the video. Thanks very much indeed and the previous ones. And uh, yeah, you keep asking me loads of questions. Uh, just let me clear a few up as we look at this. In fact, what I'll do is show you what I've been doing. Now, the front of the reception area as you walk in has the steps and then has this like... It's not glass, uh, although I'm going to use glass. It's like this... Uh, it's like a it's like a shield of some some sorts and on the movie you can just on the stills i've got you can make out that it appeared to be glass but these were all like wire gauze but we haven't got such a thing in minecraft so i'm working out what to do uh i've put in these metal the i'm using these as metal ridges and i'm going to use the glass uh, to finish it off and if you look at the side view they are running the four levels one two three four with the back one a bit higher at the back uh, to give it like that sort of shop front sort of thing with the glass so what did we look at right well I started with black and then I didn't like that too much and then I've been looking at all the different types as you can see here and I think blue and that would look naff so in the end I am settling for this uh, this color which is gray uh, rather than the blue because I don't like the blue I thought about this one but then I tried a few more and it doesn't go well with this I want to complement the like the metal girders now what happens is when you look underneath you have these metal girders here that goes up and then you've got these metal girders that hold in the panels in between and when I looked at it I thought right I'm gonna go for two on this one and I'm gonna, I'm gonna put the lighter one in now just to show you how that's gonna look it's quite easy once you get it good to get going there we go it just complements the grey rather than the black and I didn't want it too harsh with the blue because it'll look a bit naff because many of the buildings are sort of grey and uh, stone and concrete and they are functional buildings apart from this one which is a bit fancy with the gardens at the front so what I'm going to do is replace these and as we go along we're going to talk as well right okay guys and girls thank you very much for all the comments uh, regarding what I'm doing with the series well you know we've been building new blah and we're not going to stop building new blah so those people that want me to go back and build some more i will be but right before i carry on uh i wanted a change and i wanted to build some of the older buildings and i really love the compound it's something i've been wanting to redo for a while so i decided that we're going to start isla sauna and come to isla sauna the other reason why i've come to sauna is because we can show off the new dinosaurs as you know, Isla Nubla only had a limited number of the JP, JW dinosaurs and animals. And the whole point of Jurassic Craft uh, 2 is to recreate the animals and dinosaurs from the Jurassic Park series. So, like the last episode, I was talking about the Achillobata being the Jurassic Park Velociraptor. Uh, but we're going to call them raptors from this point on because as you worked out hey didn't want to do that we didn't want to do that didn't want to do that where's that going that's the cyan in fact i don't need the blue anymore so let's just get rid of that uh yeah so the raptors are there and as i said before i'm this is now 2016 on isla sauna so what i'm doing is completely new is rebuilding sauna back because you would if you've got all these existing buildings and they were all pretty sound apart from looking a bit dilapidated and stuff it gives me the benefit of being able to restore Isla Sauna to what it should have been and quite obviously Isla Sauna would be here still and that's where would, they would have got all their dinosaurs from uh, because they wouldn't want to do it on New Blah because that's the public island and this is a secret island so there we go right other things to note i will be back to new blah in the next couple of episodes to look at another build and start building but what we've been waiting for is the new one-to-one -one new blah map 
because precisely we want to do use that to build around the lake and you saw me test it a couple of videos ago uh, and I want to be able to build around the lake so I want the new map because I don't want to waste any time I can port things in but then I might have to do it a second time so I've decided just to leave that alone I will do some more of the stuff i.e. we're going to go and look at the Indominus Rex paddock and rebuild it correctly because as you know it wasn't built the first time I sort of did it sort of square and it wasn't it was like a hexagonal shape that is miles better that is going to look a lot better on the front it actually looks very much like it uh, it does I know people might not agree I had toyed with the idea of using glass blocks but it is supposed to be a uh, it's not supposed to be a solid roof it's supposed to be like a like a sun visor roof it's almost like a uh, parasol an automatic parasol that comes out the front but so that's what I'm gonna do what else have people been asking yes uh, People have been asking about the fossil and archaeology mod. It's coming, it's coming, it's coming back. Uh, they're about to update it to 1.8. So really looking forward to that. Some people don't like the fossil and archaeology mod, but I like it as well because I like the different types of dinosaurs in that mod. Uh, so I decided what to do. Yeah, I haven't decided what to do and how I'm going to handle that when the 1.8 comes back, but we shall see. Uh, thank you very much for all the the likes of course and yes we've just gone and passed the 5,000 subscribers and for those of you who with me used to be with me last year you'll know that I had my old channel which sadly went west as I call it uh, we had 8,000 on there but uh, we're back now to 5,000 this one which is really cool that's going to be quite good once I start doing the rest of it behind it will be all right yeah there we go uh people keep asking about the pachycephalosaurus arena i will be building a new one as per the original world but not quite yet we're going to stick to hallows right uh and his for now until i get the new island and then we'll be absolutely fine what it'll mean as well also i'm going to just update this map because this map has all the islands on it it, ha it is 1.5 gig in size to download now that does cause me a problem guys and girls because I can't uh, afford to put it on a private download and pay for it I'm sorry so I have to be very careful when I upload the 1.5 gig map but I will at some point in the future uh, it's just the way it goes uh, we can't do much about that at the moment so what I have done as you know if you go and see the version 2 map that has the whole of the lake that we built on this particular map and you can go and still go around the hotel and stuff like that and that reminds me still got to finish the hotel but uh, as I only do this as a part-time hobby I like to chop and change I don't like to stick at the same thing too long I like to come back and do something else right does that now that finishes there in fact I'm not sure whether that, I'll have to look and see where that finishes so what I'm just going to do is, and the other thing that happens on this, just to let you know, is on the top here, if I can find some iron, let's just do this. On the top here, this now, and what I'm going to do is sort of here, like so, yeah, sort of like that. Let's see this again. Let me just put this in. Oh, it's getting dark. So actually, you want to light this up as well. So these, I'm just going to put these up. I think I'm going to see what looks best here. Yeah, it might actually look all right. Let's just get that. It's got like some beams on the top. And I haven't decided it probably look good if I did this. Yes, that's going to look, that's actually that's going to look good as you will see now I'll come across there so I'm doing the facade before I do this desk and everything inside because I feel that the building might now go back a bit further than I first planned and it's always good to stick to one part of a building when you're doing it and this has already taken some time there we go that actually looks quite good that actually now 
looks like the building as such although what I've just got to do is here I will probably just do this because it looks oh no like that that's it yeah that comes up like actually that looks a lot better yeah that looks a lot better having it like that because now we've got rid of this which is cool that's it so it should be because it's like a like a superstructure on top right what I'm going to do is I'm going to finish off the roof just this section here and once I finish off that first bit of the roof I shall come back and then we'll do some of the inside of it all right welcome back everybody uh, I've done the roof and a bit more and I put the side areas in here it's got like two panels on each side of that sort of height so let's go and let's go and have a look inside and see what we've got all right let's get in there so we cut some fantastic steps into the doorway what I want to do is put like a foyer ceiling in with lighting and then what I want to do is make it really like airy with the glass and the roof so I put this roof area in as well and I have now put the metal bits at the top as well so they sort of sit down you can see all the way through there uh, but you can see those as they look on the pictures i.e. you've got those little beams and then you've got this straight sort of struts holding up the building uh, and you've got all the cantilever bits here all in unison one two three four layers so they're all there so it does look i i want to try and keep it traditional rather than sort of completely change it to look at like it used to look like when it was in full order or working so it's quite impressive if you were to come to the car park which i haven't built yet <laughs> if you were to come to the island and drive into the front and walk into the reception i haven't put the uh funny enough the desk is going to be it's going to be around about here maybe a bit further maybe here yeah maybe a bit there reception desk that's going to be about right because it is well it's not that big i want to make it the new reception desk i want to make a bit bigger because it deserves to have a proper that's about right in it yeah it deserves to have some sort of uh, fancy reception desk as such i haven't decided how to actually do that yet but uh, that's another thing so we have got the major part of this reception uh, built uh, and I haven't decided uh, well what happens is when they come around the back there are, uh, there are two doorways there's a doorway here and a doorway this side to go through to the back which is quite interesting to say the least because what you see in the movie is half the team walk through this side and half the team walk through that side so I haven't quite right decided how I'm going to do that yet in terms of here fancy doing in fact I just realized if I get rid of that if I have this that looks like a sort of desk doesn't it yeah that's a bit high <laughs> that's a bit high now the desk comes round at an angle which is going to be quite difficult with this but I suppose I could do that like that and then the same this end sort of like that and it comes round in fact what it has it has so it would be like a proper reception desk I search with computers on in fact I need to just check whether the let's have a look at that so yeah sort of like that I'm not sure yet I'm just playing around with it at the moment I don't think that looks quite right although it, you know the old one sort of had a curvature on it so I'm just putting it there just to show you guys what it looks like I'm not sure yet not completely sure because it just come round and I think it then sort of comes it actually comes around like 
sort of comes around like so in fact around the back like that so I've decided there we go sort of like that yeah but that's almost like I could have the computers on that end that's a normal desk yeah that might come across there one two three so yeah actually that's coming together I might use some different blocks guys uh, because let's just have a look at that what's oh, the size of that one two three all oh, right that's why it's not working and two three and then it goes like that and then we got that 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 and then it starts coming back again so at least you can see where I'm going to put the desk as such yeah now reception desk uh, the one that in the the one actually has a back to it so when you see it there's a sign at the back so the back is would be literally here in fact we're getting there we're getting there we're getting there we're getting there right yeah so there must be an access point somewhere at the side to get into there then there's a wall at the back here once you get into reception it's actually open on that side so we shall see there you go right okay that's gonna be enough for now let's go and have a look at uh, another new dinosaur which has been captured in the forests and we're gonna go head over to the pens uh, one people someone says well the, there are a load of kennels in the back of the lab yes they are when they run out of this now we're trying to work out because in the book this was a different area to the film and then the area you see them all coming down the steps is over there in the book which is slightly different to the film so there's gonna be two areas but the kennels I believe are over there right at the back before you go out into the uh the baby sort of dinosaur wild area over there so anyway we're going to go ahead over to the pens and uh, have a look at another new dinosaur well here we go guys and girls we have found two more dinosaurs we're going to have a look at the uh big one in a minute over there it's very nice gorgeous uh we're going to have a look at the little one we found here this uh pen's a bit big oh uh, it's already escaped again see this is not a pen for this particular little beast uh, this is a Segisaurus or Segisaurus uh, interestingly enough it's related to a compi uh, would you believe there's only actually one specimen found <laughs> a lot of dinosaurs like that where they find different bits of specimen I'm going to talk about the other one in a minute which has only got one part of that specimen uh, Sagittarius, I'd say it's a bit like a compi. They've only found a youngling. They've never found an adult yet. And the uh, this one's roughly about a meter long. Uh, this one is dead cute, isn't it? Is it dead cute? Uh, but uh, I need to find a better pen for it. Anyway, you can wander off, whatever. Uh, there are male and female, of course. Look at this one here. It's gorgeous, isn't it? I do love the smaller dinos because they're so high quality look at the eye the teeth and it is so small as well it's just so cute so there's Sagittarius uh, lived about 183 a million years ago uh, I'm not going to give you loads of loads of info about these things but uh, as I say did find a sub adult they're not actually sure how big the big one did but as you can see it's very similar to a compi but much brighter coloured and they're going to run out through the hole so I might have to find a better pen. See, look at that, look at that movement. It's gorgeous, isn't it? We'll have to find a kennel for you. I and mean, I think you will have to go in the kennels when we build them. Thanks for the comment. Yeah, the kennels will be over the back over there for the smaller dinos. Uh, so we'll just put you there for a minute. Right, let's go and show you the other one. So here we have the most beautiful, one of the most beautiful dinos. Um, uh, what I said a long time ago when Jurassic Craft was in its early days, it's great to see a wonderful colours. Uh, now, interestingly enough, uh, can you look at the similarity between that great big massive dinosaur in Jurassic World? That's because the DNA of the IRX uh, contains part of a Rugops, so it's quite interesting as it is. Uh, Rugops, would you believe the only at the moment the only skeleton part of the skeleton that has been found is the head uh, yeah it is only the head 
uh, and it was found in the year 2000. Uh, so Africa, it was also found in Africa. So that is the only thing they've got to go on. However, it's very much like the uh, Majungasaurus. We haven't even included the Majungasaurus at all in any of the uh, builds that I've done, which uh, it's it's massive. So again, we got it as a like a smaller version of Majungasaurus, and you can see the similarities of the head. Oh, that makes a lovely noise. Come over here, see what it is. It's supposed to have, uh, what it is, the skull itself bore the markings of scales uh, and bones have many blood vessels. So there you go, interesting uh, dinosaur. Oh, the night is falling. This is definitely built for this uh, type of, uh, well, I think we might basically move this one over there because that's about the right size because this is built for slightly bigger dinos uh, but there we go so well, that's what we plan to do just bring in some new varieties to tell you a bit more about them and so you can actually have a look at them I love the teeth and the and the uh, the uh, eyes beautiful red eyes and obviously these spines have been put on the top of the head which really could look similar to part of the way oh hey shouldn't have come in here it's there uh, you go sorry well, that's what you get if you run out of your own pen and go in somebody else's. So we'll have to do something about that for next time and sort those out. So what we're going to do is head back to our uh, build. I've been doing quite a bit more inside and guess what? Uh, I've just been looking at the new revised 1.8 furniture mod and uh, I do believe it's going to work but we're going to try it out because as you see in here we've made some changes and I just wanted to show you and I've got furniture <gasps> but the furniture isn't from the furniture mod so I know sorry guys and girls loads of you have been saying in loads of videos you should be adding the furniture mod and would you believe it when I started building this uh, particular build it's the first time that I've wanted to put furniture in and I think in all the builds are done all over the time so here we go we're gonna go in here let me just tell you a bit about it uh, now where did I find the furniture well the furniture itself is actually in the custom NC blocks you've got the tall lamps there in different colors a beam Ooh, I haven't seen the beam now that could be something I'm really interested in. Let me just see where that is. Can we have a beam? What's that look like? Ah, it goes that way. Ah, that's a pity. Now I wonder how, I knew it. A beam. I wonder if we can go that way with it. Oh, it doesn't exactly say there. So it's almost like a, it's a bit of a weird thing. I just already found that, but uh, you will see a beam. I have to actually look at how that works. But uh, you can see the lamps. You can see some different. Oh, a book. Should we put a book on the counter? What's that look like? Oh, oh, I could put that in there. This is another thing why I might actually go back to the Hilton Hotel. So, uh, welcome, visitors. <laughs> welcome to Jurassic Park. <laughs> yeah, Isla. Uh, sauna. <laughs> anyway, come back to that. I, more importantly, I put some stools down. Uh, I haven't looked at the crystals, but so these basic furniture uh, things are in here. Oh, wonder if we've got a blue. Let's get rid of that a minute. What does that look like? What does that look like? <laughs> oh dear. Hey, put a banner up there. Yeah, you could actually have something there, but what it is. <laughs> Uh, sorry, I just couldn't resist it. Uh, I want to make it more real and livable. I don't like that very much in terms of that can go there. Anyway, coming back to this, guys and girls. So, look, uh, this is the new layout. Uh, when I looked at the pictures I've got, this was much narrower. And what I really do is need a computer. So when I look for computers, obviously furniture mod has that on. So I'm going to bring, hopefully going to bring the furniture mod into next episode. But you can see here we've got a little seating area here, which is by here. This in the, in the actual building used to have plants in here in fact I wonder if I've got a plant let's have a look plant now if I go I suppose you go pot pot not that sort of pot 
Yeah, let's get rid of that. So if I put, and if I then go, ooh, get rid of that. So if I put the pot, I could actually put some plants on here now. Hey, that would be good to make that as it should be. Let's find a bit of a greenery. In fact, well, I wonder if one of these will fit into. That'd be cool if that does. Let's have a look, see if one fits in. No. No. Nope. Uh, flower. I think it only fits flowers. Can't remember now. Hmm. I thought. Uh, let's go back to normal Minecraft. I think we can put those in there. And I think we can put. Let's just try it. I haven't ever done plants and stuff. Hey! Yes! There we go. So I'm just going to put those in there because there were plants in there in the actual thing. So let's just do that. I'm going to change it. Right, okay. We shall see. Uh, let's put daylight iron time. Set day. Yeah. And down here is another rest area. Now what I'd really like is to find a drinks machine or such. Uh, I haven't put some more tables. Put a table lamp. It actually lights the place up so it's really cool as you saw. And the furniture, uh, the furniture is one hell of a thing in this because if I just go whack out to there, go to the furniture and I get a piece of furniture. Here's a prime example. Let's get rid of that. And the furniture is well cool. Oh, and you can sit in it. Let's get back out. Uh, so let's just sit. Actually, let's just sit on it. Uh, five. <laughs> yes, absolutely. <laughs> right. Uh, so, yeah, sorry. I just wanted to show you one more thing before we go. Let's get off there. Right. So the layout. I have now, next episode, I'm going to start the tower and the plan. It needs to be a bit bigger and it sort of fits here at the back of the building. But it's a bit small, so I'm going to have to look at that. Uh, both at the reception area here there's that rest area in the rest area so it's sort of a reception area to sign in now you can go through this doorway here or this doorway here and when they walk through here there's drinks machines on the back of here which I need to look at how I can do that uh, because uh, if I can find the mod which has the drinks machines on, that'd be really cool. Uh, and then there is a little room. It looks like a little room or a storage area. Maybe a toilet at the end. The door was open, but we never went in here. And we never saw what's down this end, apart from people walking in, see the drinks machine, and then they had a bit of a kick at the machine, and then they came through the back here. And when they came through the back here, you don't know where they walked. So it could be down here, into this building. Uh, but it's too low. That's the other thing. How did they get really high up to come down those really metal stairs? For me, it'd have to be about this height to come down into the building. So maybe we didn't see, and it leads me to the belief that that was the building you see them go into. However, we have to work out which one it is. I know in the book it describes a restroom, a locker room, and then it it requires this but really I want really want to do this particular uh, area as the uh, the big lava that you do raptors chase them around I really want to do that so I think I'm gonna have to do a bit of corridor bashing down here because on this side is a little bit of a conservatory this is also not wide enough we're gonna have to come out around to about here so it's gonna have to come out here so I need to change that there's a conservatory type here so it'll be another glass house where you could sit down and look. So they had a lot of reception area for people sitting down. So they must have had a lot of visitors, which is quite funny. Uh, yeah, so uh, they did that. And then there's sort of a corridor which led to the drinks machines here. So I'm trying to keep to the movie and also pay attention to the book as well. And there we have it. So that will be uh, the end of this episode. I think I've just about got... I never showed you the top. Oh, yes, I did before I did. Uh, so I'll show you the top. I've got to do the car park. I've got to do a bit of landscaping over that side and put some trees in once we put that tower in. There's also another sort of raised tower on this side next that goes above about this height. So we're going to do that. Uh, and as I say, I'm going to go and now test the furniture mod to see if it works. So all I've got to say to you guys and girls is, and I do that, is let's just say, 
all I've got to say to you guys and girls is thank you very much indeed for watching. Hope you enjoyed this episode. We're going to do some more building next time. And yes, we will be back to Nublar very shortly as well. So thanks very much indeed. Bye-bye. Please like, please sub, and please make comments. Thank you.